guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting vlog that I'm starting the day before, the afternoon before, because I have to prepare for this. I really, I wasn't planning to maybe go out there until like 4 a.m., 3 a.m., but people are already lining up at my record store for Taylor's vinyl, and I literally just got home from work. I could not believe my eyes when I logged onto Instagram and saw that, um, but, so, it looks like I'm going to be going out there a lot sooner than I thought, so, um, I'm not going to be foolish. I am going out there when I am rested a little bit because I don't feel comfortable sleeping out on the streets um, waiting for a vinyl um, because you know I have my purse and stuff with me I just don't think that that's safe so I need some rest <sighs> so I'm going to get some rest so here's the game plan we're having hot water heater issues the company's supposed to come between 4 and 6 today my mom gets off at 5 um, so hopefully they come closer to four than they do, um, like six o'clock. So my mom and I can go eat dinner. Um, then I'm coming home, getting in the shower, getting comfortable, and, um, I'm going to sleep. And when I wake up, I wake up, I'll probably set an alarm for like 1 a.m., see how I'm feeling at like 1 a.m., and then take it from there. I was planning four o'clock. My mom asked me earlier, like, hey, what time are you planning to go out there? I said like four o'clock. And then, um, yeah, couldn't believe my eyes that people are literally out there already. People are serious about this. It's not just in my area. So I am manifesting, manifesting that I get my hands on the seven inch Taylor Swift The Lakes vinyl. And it's so special because she is the vinyl, the, the vinyl, the record store day ambassador. It looks like I already need that nap, but um, I am so excited. It's such a big deal as a Taylor fan because I love how she admires smaller businesses and like she sent signed copies during the pandemic of folklore and it's just special, okay? I would do anything for Taylor, I will be honest. I never saw myself sleeping on the street of my own hometown city for Taylor. I only saw this happening in New York, but you know what, it's okay. Um, because if there's one thing I am, it is a Taylor Swift fan and I am determined and it's going to happen. And yeah, while I wait for these people, I'm just going to clean up my room, do some laundry. And then, um, I might, I will go to Walgreens later and get some snacks. So yeah, I'm low key excited, but I'm like, nervous too. Cause I, if I pull up at like 1am and there's a big line, I'm going to be like, uh Oh, I've already called a backup record store just in case like I pull up and because my store got about 10 copies. So if the line's longer than like 10, I'm gonna probably panic and drive to the other store and wait outside. So you guys will just have to see what happens because I have no idea what happens. It is um, 3.48 and uh, just let the manifestation begin because that's all I have to say right now. I feel like it's gonna be a chaotic vlog. So buckle up Swifties and this will be a fun vlog, this will. Guess who's getting snacks to camp out? This girl right here. All right, you guys, so I have showered and I am actually in the process of packing my bag. Where am I going? Uh, to the record store, to the record store. Um, so far I have some snacks packed. I'm going to charge my portable chargers. My dad is like, hey, you should probably be out there right now. I'm like, hey, I'm not sleeping out there. Um, I need to catch some Z's first. So I'm definitely going to get at least a couple hours of sleep in before I go. I just know myself too well. Um, plus I don't think I need to be out there yet. I could be wrong though. Um, but I've got snacks packed, my portable charger. I need to charge my camera battery. I'm gonna bring a blanket. I wasn't planning to, but they place placeholders. They place, pla I need to take a nap. Um, they hand out placeholders at 6 a.m. and then the doors open at 8 a.m. So I'll have time to like bring stuff back to my car. So that's good. Um, I am exhausted right now if I'm being honest. If I had more energy, I probably would hop in my car and just go now. But like, I don't have that kind of energy right now. <laughs> it is 12.06 a.m. A.m. Um, and I am up, I'm up, because uh, I woke up 
and my record store actually posted like a walkthrough video and they posted the outside and there's at least like seven people out there now which is stressing me out because I know that they didn't get that many copies of the lakes and I sound very tired right now I sound like I'm about to cry I'm just like exhausted <laughs> but um I have decided that I'm getting up now I'm getting up so I mean I might as well because if I didn't I would just be laying there anyways being like oh my god like I wonder if more people have showed up since they took that video when they closed good god I look like this um but I'm gonna curl my bangs real quick I'm gonna do my hair in line because I'm gonna have nothing better to do um but yeah I'm going I'm going now um uh, oh my god um it's now 12 20 and I look slightly and I do mean slightly more alive um meaning I curled my bangs that's literally all I did and I put on my Swifty gear um not that I didn't have a bright red shirt on that said Swifty across my chest but you know I have multi layers on I have this shirt on and I have my invisible string um shirt on I have my 13 ring on from Resin Rena and um I have my necklace on which one did I go with I was like standing in the mirror I went with my custom love you Taylor and her handwriting to me and of course I got my tattoo because this love left a permanent mark I wanted to say I was standing there I was like oh my god I feel so tired but it's a different kind of tired it's not like okay I'm gonna fall on my face it's like okay I'm tired on the back burner like I'm tired but I'm excited too because if I think about it and I was telling my mom about this like I haven't really done anything like Swifty in two years like crazy like the last crazy crazy thing I did unless I'm blanking at midnight um I, I mean I've supported her of course for so long um literally since love story came out but I haven't done anything crazy like I literally flew to New York City for the first time on her birthday to see her at Jingle Ball like top-notch experience would do it again um but I really haven't done anything like you know like I went to a car race to see this woman perform so it's about due time that I did something um because the pandemic really just said hold but um I mean I stayed up I literally got no sleep hardly <laughs> when um Red Taylor's version came out because of like all the interviews and stuff and they're all back to back and then I listened to the album anyways I love being a Taylor Swift fan like supporting her is such an honor supporting her is such one of my favorite things to do it is my favorite thing to do so this doesn't feel like oh my god I'm up I need chapstick um it doesn't feel like that it feels like okay Finally, I get to do something like semi nuts. I know I just put my chapstick on so weird, but um, like I'm camping out for a vinyl, for a vinyl, friends. And you guys are gonna come with me. I'm really excited. I really am excited. I hope there's some nice people online because I don't have, I don't have that much to keep me entertained except like my phone. Um. All my friends are asleep for the most part like Emma's like yeah I'm I'm going to sleep she had an event till like midnight so she's like now she's done and I was sleeping from you know the time she was up till now um so yeah I'm not gonna have anybody really to text but it's okay um hopefully I make some friends online but I'm so excited I'm gonna go to the bathroom one more time because I'm really nervous about that like what if I have to go to the bathroom um but yeah I'm gonna go and we're gonna go get in my car and we're gonna drive there and hope that the line isn't too crazy when I get there and we're ready to go all right you guys um buckled up car's still in park haven't moved but pulled my water out of the trunk we're ready to go um I'm so glad I remembered this so they're putting mulch down in my neighborhood right now and um <laughs> There's a huge pile of um, mulch like where I usually pull out so like I need to go the other way um, So yeah, because it's dark and I totally would have forgotten about that. So anyways, I'm gonna go I'm gonna play folklore 
duh. And uh, I'll see you guys there. Please pray the line isn't so long that like I start to panic. Okay, we're gonna go. Okay, okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. There's a lot of freaking people out here. A lot of people. A lot of people. All right, so if it's Filipino, if it's Hindi, Hindi, they, they, if, if. I'm like number 26 in line, but a girl told me that there's like 10 Swifties in front of me, so I'm holding out hope for now. God, it is um, two o'clock in the morning and they just came around with snacks. So guess where I'm going and coffee. Are we kidding? Um, yes. Brewing, that's a good sign. Can we just talk about how nice this is of them? Like, top-notch people. The lights have come on. We have about 20 minutes before they hand out placeholders. I look rough. Okay, you guys, so I have officially finished my makeup. My, don't look at my concealer slash foundation. It looks awful because I forgot my beauty blender at home and so I literally had to, uh, and I forgot my setting powder too. Um, so I literally had to use my fingers. So please ignore how trash that looks. Otherwise, I feel like my makeup doesn't look too bad. Mm, 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 well, it's as good as it could be. Um, it's 6.46 now and I'm going to, my hair, this is what my hair looks like right now. Um, I have two ponytail holders, I almost said scrunchies. Um, and I'm gonna attempt to do folklore buns and braids. But we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, I didn't bring clips, did I? Well, we'll figure something out. I've decided to keep my hair down because it doesn't look that bad. Um, it could look better, but um, honestly, I feel like it's not horrendous, so I'm just gonna leave it down. Um, plus, I was stupid and I didn't bring two clips to like hold my um, my buns up so it really wouldn't work anyway so you know just gonna put those ponytails back in my purse um, it's okay if I want to I can just put it up in a clip and it'll be fine but oh my gosh it's a little warm in here now um I just want to say that I have been sitting in my car for an hour now um, it's seven o'clock now literally an hour before doors open. Um, I am nervous, okay? I'm nervous, but at the same time, regardless if I get this vinyl or not, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift is the record store day ambassador, and that is so freaking cool. I will never get tired of doing crazy things for Taylor. I will never get tired of supporting her. I just wanted to say that, like, regardless, like, it was fun camping out. Regardless, I'm not gonna throw a hissy fit. Well, I'll be sad, like, if I don't get um, the album. My nose looks sunburned. I think I just, what did I do? Anyways, um, my nose didn't really set well because, <laughs> because uh, I didn't have my uh, powder. And yeah, I get naturally, like, red skin. And because I'm tired, it, it my body's like Rachel you're running on serotonin right now but you're tired you're, you're, you're tired anyways I just like I said I just wanted to say that um, I am so thrilled to be supporting Taylor I truly love her so much and I'm so thankful and yeah I think I'm honestly gonna go stand out there um, people are out there and the people from inside the record store are actually coming out and talking to people so I kind of just want to be in that environment and I've had my time to like decompress and I've done my makeup um, and yeah I'm just really excited and there's literally like an hour before doors open so I feel like you know we're on the very home stretch now all right you guys so they just let us do like a walkthrough and the lady in there told me that they have double what they have out for the lakes so it's looking pretty promising I talked to them I told them my number and they said you know everything should go your way they're so nice the nicest people I just wanted to come over here and say that 
Um, I am nervous. It is 7.14, so we'll probably be in within an hour um, because group one goes first, and then when they're done, it's group two, and I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm tired. Sleep. You guys have had less sleep than I had, but Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift. All right. Oh, thank you. Straight check out. Thank you so Congrats. much. Congrats. Sleep token is gone. <laughs> There were only two where I got less than people requested, and that was one of them. Portraits of her? Uh, those are gone. Those I are do gone? have more. I ordered like three right, more that should show up next week. If you give your name with one of these folks, we can call you when they come in okay. next, next week. Yeah, we absolutely. <laughs> I got it, you guys. I am so happy. Oh my god. That was so worth work, waking up at 12.45 I'm so happy. Um, and then we also were the last group to get Taylor <laughs> Record Store Day. I'm just like, now I'm so happy. Like, I actually did it, you guys. Um, this is what the button looks like. It just says Record Store Day Ambassador RSD 2022 Taylor's version. I'm so happy. Um... I am so happy. This has been quite the journey. Um, so many lines, so many processes, but it was all worth it. And it was very organized inside. So like they had you stand on like your spot and then you kept like rotating around like you had a first pick. And of course I said, Taylor, um, there are actually gonna call me next week if they get in more portraits of her, which has Taylor featured on it. It looks like an amazing record. I am so happy mission accomplished and i'd do it again guys okay so i took a nap um what time is it it is 12 22 i woke up about 11. um i touched up my makeup i honestly laid in bed for a while um but anyways i wanted to show you guys like what i got in what they were calling their swag bags and my group was the last one to actually get the record store day pins um I look so tired um we're just gonna we're just gonna ignore that my hair is not it today um but I wanted to show you guys what I got and I just think it was a really fun experience I would 100% do it again I think the experience was so fun so as you guys saw um, I probably got there somewhere around like 1240-1245 um, When I pulled up I was really worried because I saw the whole line of people and I was like, oh My god, like this is this is not good. I have no chance um, But then the couple in front of me was like, what are you here for? And I was like Taylor Swift and she's like, oh like we're not here for that so like um, that eliminates two people that aren't getting it and then I was number 26 in line and they were splitting it into groups of 20 to go into the store at a time um, and then they had you stand on these markers like and they had you go all the way to the back of the store and this record store is also a bookstore so we went like and we wrapped around the store and they had spots and every time um, so when you got so number one would pick their first pick and they'd give it to them and then we'd rotate back around and you could do it up to 20 times I only went around twice because I tried well I got the lakes and then um, I tried for portraits of her which they will probably call me they said um, if they have enough copies and uh, so yeah now my foot's falling asleep I I think I've been sitting too long today and it's just um yeah hold on let me let me let me, let me pop a squat um, but yeah it was it was very interesting um I have never camped out like that before and it's the random hoodie for me hold on it's bothering me <laughs> but um yeah it was really fun and it was a really fun experience it was interesting like once you got inside to see how it went down because um 
they told me how it was going to go down in the line, but like until you see it, sometimes it's hard to like understand how it's going to work, but I think it worked really well and people seemed to get what they wanted. Um, I was really worried because I was number 26 and I was group two. So anyways, you guys, um, I, I got what I wanted and, um, I am so glad that I stayed there because they are the nicest people the nicest people to ever exist. I have a cat here like chilling on my chin it feels like. But um there were a couple other record stores that I could have gone to in my area and I considered when I saw the line. But then I was so happy because um a girl was like, "Hey, like just wanted to let you know, um if you stay you're the 11th Taylor Swift fan." Like we have counted I was like, "Oh, really?" And they're like, "Yeah, like everybody else is here for like, you know, rock and metal and stuff like that the other vinyl releases and I was like oh okay and the lady in front of me was like yeah like the people here are really nice and they are not going to um they're not gonna just tell you that they're not gonna get the Taylor Swift album like they're not getting it if they say they aren't um because you know everybody's waiting out there for a long time and you know everybody's on a mission so she was like, if they say you're the 11th Taylor Swift fan, take that to heart. My store got probably about 15 copies. I think when I grabbed, or when I got mine, they handed me mine, I there was like four copies left from what I saw. Um, so yeah, I think I got really, really lucky on that front. And they were very adamant on um, only Taylor Swift fans buying the vinyls and I thought it was really sweet they were like even when we were in there and they were giving instructions they're like hey like I get that you're a vinyl collector but just realize there are major Taylor Swift fans here and please respect that and I was like oh geez like they were so adamant on the fans getting these anyways I'm gonna stop rambling and um so they gave us this poster and I think it's really cute. It's this little record player and it has little flowers growing out of it. It's so cute. And it just says record store day 2022. And yeah, I'm probably going to hang that up. It's really cute. Um, so then <laughs> I got it. Oh my gosh. I don't want to open it yet. Like, I feel like it's still like in its pristine... Recorded by Laura Sis at Kitty Committee Studio. <laughs> I love her so much. Um, she is my queen. Just so everybody knows that. But, yeah, it made me so happy that they truly were vouching for the Taylor Swift fans. And I am so happy I got it. I don't want to undo mine yet. Everybody on Twitter is like, oh my gosh, like, look at it. And I'm like, but like... I don't want to undo it yet. I, part of me wishes I could have gotten two just to like open one and then keep one in like pristine condition. But yeah, yeah, I'm who, you know what? I don't, I'm not going to say who cares. Like I am so glad that I was able to get my hands on one. Um, and I love that my store limited it to one. That made me so happy. So then they gave us the sticker that said this vehicle stops at all record stores for your car and they gave oh that's my receipt um they gave a little bookmark it says the book that tells a story and it's actually about record store day it's a book about record store day and I kind of regret not getting it um or looking at it more I should say so, yeah. I was overly excited about these. So, I got Taylor Swift Record Store Day Ambassador pins. Um, I, I am so excited about it. Um, I'm going to put one on because today is Record Store Day. Um, but I have to... And the reason I have two is not because I was handed two. Um, it's because the guy who was in front of me 
um, he was nice enough to give me his. He was there for totally different records and he was so nice the whole night just like making us laugh like so pleasant to be around and I was walking to my car and he was like hey he's like um he's like I got a button and I know that we were the last group to get them do you want it and I was like oh my gosh that's so sweet of you I'm like are you sure you don't want it because like I know you come to record store day every year and I know that like this is something cool to have and he was like no don't worry about it like I know it's just gonna sit in a shadow box and I know it'll mean a lot more to you and I was like that's so freaking nice like I love people like that so yeah he gave me his and so I have two of them. I am going to keep both because I want to keep one for my collection and obviously I just stuck this one on uh, myself and I have quite the Taylor Swift collection and this is something I really wanted so I'm actually glad that I was able to get two. Thank you to the nicest people ever that I was standing around all night. Um, we were all just like cheering each other on. We are like, oh my gosh, like I think we're going to be okay. Like it's freezing but like we only have an hour left. Like it was so nice. Um, and then we got this little pen that says Scorpion's Rock Believer. That's cute. Um, but anyways, you guys, it was quite the experience, but a good one to boot. I am so happy <laughs> with my purchase. I have never, uh, inserted my cards so fast in my life. My total, I think, well, I can tell you my total. With tax. With tax, my order was 1801. So, I'll take it. Anyways, you guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'm sorry if what I'm saying doesn't make any sense. I'm literally, I think I'm like past the point of exhaustion. Hmm. Yep. I think I'm past the point of exhaustion at this point. Like, I think I'm just like talking and probably none of it's making sense, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me and I'm going to go um, out to lunch with my mom and hopefully get some ice cream and some coffee and uh then probably take another nap if i'm being honest but i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i hope this video entertained you in some way and definitely let me know if you went to record store day were you successful um how many copies did your store get that's i'm very curious on too but yeah you guys we did it it was so worth waking up at 12 o'clock in the morning for but I love you guys so much I hope this video entertained you in some way and I sincerely hope I see you yes see you in the next one bye guys